This week we're continuing our Wonders of Wolf Street series, taking a look at Fraser Wood Elements. All right, so we're here with David Frazier, the owner of Frazier Wood Elements at 1023 Caroline Street. Uh, right now we're standing uh, in their uh, workshop here at 601 uh, Jackson Street near the corner of Wolf Street. And uh, David, why don't you tell us about what goes on inside here? Sure, I'll be glad to, Bill. Um, right here we make and produce our custom items that clients have found us at our store location. They'll come to our store. We'll talk about a design, we'll create it, uh, we'll do a little diagram, and then um, once confirmed, all production will start here. And here our craftsmen, Mike and Chris and Bill, they start their awesome handiwork making the items that the client have wanted us to produce. How long have you all been in this, in this space here? We've been here for about two and a half years now. Yeah. How big is this space? Uh, 8,000 square feet. So it used to be a warehouse, is that It was right? a warehouse, I've been told. I've been told Roxbury Mills used to be located here uh, 50, 60 years ago. Originally, it used to be a foundry or something like that for the dairy across the street. Okay. So a lot of the beautiful furniture that you sell at Fraser Wood Elements is produced here. Yep, right yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is Mike Joes, who's one of the talented uh, Craftsman for Fraser Wood Elements, and um, Mike, just tell us a little bit about what you're what you're building here, and right. show us what goes into it. Just doing a mortise and tenon table frame right now. Uh, like I said, the uh, inside here is there is a mortise. It's a hole, a square hole. Uh, this tenon has a square peg that's going into this. So what I've done is drilled holes in here. These holes go all the way through the tenon. So this is the whole joke: a square peg in a round hole. So what this does, the old traditional style of locking that in place. So no screws, just a little bit of glue, and a walnut pin holds it in place. Just trim it right off. Sand that down a little bit and that's locked into that. Wow. Kind of cool, huh? And this piece will eventually be sold over at Fraser Wood then? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so now we're here at the retail store of Fraser Wood Elements here at uh, 1023 Caroline Street uh, near the, the corner of Amelia Street. And I'm here with David Fraser, who you met earlier, and Cameron Salisbury, who's a furniture designer and helps manage the store. Um, so just Cameron, tell us a little bit about um, what people will find at Fraser Wood Elements. Sure. Um, more than anything, it's a unique experience. We moved about 10 months ago. We used to be located at 820, just two blocks down the road. And since moving here, we've really been able to showcase what not only we make as an exclusively designed and created in-house um, furniture line, which, um, but also three really fantastic manufacturers. So we can really outfit anything from a private home to a commercial setting and do it with a lot of um, really neat elements from Fraser Wood. Yeah. And the business has now been open for, what is it? Four years. Well, it's, it's great to, to see you uh, expand the shop and it's neat to be able to see the, the whole thing from the production side to the sales side. So congratulations cool. on everything you've accomplished here in Fredericksburg. Delighted right. to have you here. Thanks for the city's support. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. All right, so that's it for this week's edition. Thanks to Cameron and David and the rest of the Fraser Wood Elements crew. Uh, next week, we're going to tell you about a cool new mural project in downtown Fredericksburg. So we'll see you then.